Hello boys and girls, we are back in the um, villa in Sierra Madre and uh, I just stayed out in the cloud for a wee bit too long and got myself killed and now I can't remember where we were going Square, nope. Residential, yup. So we would have to go through the cloud one way or another. And I think this was the way to go. that sunlight whoa oh, okay I think we have found our fourth uh, fourth companion hmm I was just thinking before what's the deal that with this place Wondering that. Shit. Oh, okay. Let's go in here, Christine. I was wondering that in case uh, this place is indeed real, as in not virtual. on the ground or something. place is not virtual reality then what if it's on the ground the sunlight kind of casts doubt on that type of thesis in there until I have just a glitch until I have explored the surroundings a little bit. Well in any case uh, this map Seems to have a strong connection to the, free, the way tourists keep rolling in. Black Mountain Complex. Stay away. 
I guess we didn't come through this place. Let me, let me get into myself. Plant it. cloud only surrounds the stairs and every place. Let's put the mine here. I can hear the ghost folk breathing but uh, I can't remember if you this works like a mine or, or like a grenade. Anyway, it weighs a lot, so I'm gonna plant it here. through the cloud. Fuck. Whoa! <laughs> I even saw it, but uh, it, it was too late to disarm it. Okay, at least now I know what to expect. Domino. Hmm. He must be a robot or a ghoul because I think he's one of the original. Original uh, inhabitants. Sound is not ghost, it's uh, Christine. I think. I hope it's Christine. Okay, and now we need to go through here. More traps, perhaps? Thanks. 
low super one judging by the Charging by the fire extinguisher that adds to the blast. Hours. Yep. Okay, now what? Let's see then. So there is someone hostile in the building. And that domino. This one seems like a street shooter. <laughs> it's very funny. Okay, let's see where does this alley go? Okay, this goes back to town square. And we probably can't access this house from can, or can we? Let's try. Hmm. So we weren't here before. That means we save. Save here actually, so that I wouldn't save myself in the corner, which has happened. Visual vision blur and 
tap them occasionally. something before I noticed the grenade and now I forgot. The same thing as reunions. So. I don't really get uh, what this uh, challenge is about because I occasionally I uh, I get the notice that I have completed something, but it seems to stick at the same uh, number all the time. See about the card collection. Okay, I couldn't find it right now. Anyway, let's focus here. Quick save and move out. Right. 
do. Panic. Okay, she's after some. Disarm the traps for us. Yay! It's clear. Is it gone? Oh, yeah. That was very suitable. Setting here reminds me a little bit of uh, Stalker, Clear Sky, uh, Limansk sequences where I have to travel through the uh, through the houses and uh, the architecture is something like okay now I see the gun as well. Why can't I? Why can't I disarm the pressure plate? Isn't this where we were already? Oh no. Oh yeah, it is. So, where did we go before? Hmm. Aha, I can see some grenades hanging there. So, uh, let me just follow the traps then. Circling around the real thing, set up these stairs, and I have disarmed this. Guess and say that we probably have to. Your tree was free, the way tortoises keep rolling in. Travel uh, through different buildings to get into this one. Oh, or we could just use the stairs.
Yeah. That's, that's always a nice choice. That tourist crosses me, they'll regret it. Even if they don't, they still might. His radio isn't uh, threatening us. Have a seat. Came all this way. Least I can do is let you rest your feet for a second. Have a seat and then we'll talk. Okay. The Sierra Madre. Beauty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here. Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. <laughs> By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable oh. that chair gets. The cushion's just for show. Fun times. Sounds like you've done some blue-collar construction work in your life. Your ma must be <laughs> proud. Still, get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cherry pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite, and finish our conversation with no misunderstanding. I would say that in this place, the moon is already cherry pie, right? Uh, cherry pie rain or whatever it was. And that's what I've missed, a <laughs> rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. Do and if you put me all. in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. What are you talking about? That's an interesting clause. <laughs> That's a real bad contract you have. We have. Uh huh. But I don't really dislike him. Why don't I get more speech options? <laughs> all right, all right. Looks like Medage finally <laughs> caught me. I'm listening, partner. What's next if we're death till we part? Not leaving me much choice. The fountain, huh? Hope the hologram's still working and the battery's running strong. I'll follow you. I'm not going alone, trust me. <laughs> not like I'm a coward or anything. I'm not running around town without an escort. I'm serious. One of the locals catches us. We aren't coming back. And I'd like to keep an eye on you.
I know what's out there. It's why I've planted a minefield, shotguns and explosives all the way on the road to my little boudoir. <laughs> so we go together or we're not going at all. I'll split my hand in blackjack when the time's right. I'm not splitting up in this town, trust me. So I wonder, will I have to uh, let Christine go for now? All right, all right. But you already got company, oh, so okay. tell you what. I'll meet you at the fountain. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see. It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through it. Huh? If you didn't already force the light. Wait a second. He, I think he, he must have some sort of uh, perk that uh, helps you, helps you fight the cloud. Okay, manual save. Here. I'd like to hear more about that shortcut of his. Okay, there's my bomb. We can safely say that we found a shortcut. And this one's mine. And it would seem that we haven't taken the long way, or at least we haven't taken the time to enjoy this, uh, uh, this uh, particular Whatever these are. Okay, so let's see. I need to move with Christine when there are radios around, and I need to move with Domino when uh, when we have to. Go through the cloud. And I guess we need I need to I need to go with the dog when when there are many enemies.
health check. One for you. And a quick save here. Goons came after us. I wanted to check something out in here, and uh, then they're distracting me. Okay, let's get to the fountain then. Closer. No. Where did the gift shop go? I want to sell my junk for more junk. Okay, here it is. Gold is uh, 
booze around. I'm gonna keep this because I have heard that it tastes good and it makes me see stuff. is starting to look like an actual gift shop. Um, oh, I didn't notice this one here before. If it isn't my ball, chain, and dog collar rolled all into one. Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous. So I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. <laughs> of course you show up putting your miss in everything. <laughs> I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Much. Okay, the bow tie is a nice touch. Uh... I still need to eat. At least I think I do. The villa provides. Even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. <laughs> Not the best chef, but, well, here's the mix, if you can huh? stomach it. I call it a Sierra Madre Martini. <laughs> His voice is very familiar, but I can't uh, make out who, who does the audio. Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food <laughs> from the machines, and hold your nose and down it. <laughs> There's electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue, although it might take hardier survivors <laughs> than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. <laughs> It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. Alive <laughs> is a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much. <laughs> they don't talk. Friend. There's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait. <laughs> there is more between heaven and earth. Oh, forget it. <laughs> I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. I'm counting myself lucky. I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. <laughs> Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost <laughs> people after. Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. Uh if they oh. find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. Try
tried talking to them, bribing <laughs> them, leaving food, nothing. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. My advice? Stay out of their way. They don't die easy. You shoot them, they get back up. You stab them, they get back up. That's why I have explosives all over this place. Unless you blow them up, chop them up, disintegrate them, the ghost people don't go down. Not enough bullets in the town to spend on them. So unless you're a real good shot, save one for yourself right before they catch you. Well, you <laughs> seem like you know how to handle yourself. All right. Once I fired a lucky shot, hit a gas tank one was holding, blew his arm off at the shoulder, <laughs> and he didn't get back up after that. So if you're that good, don't aim for the head, aim for their bombs. I see. And if you can wait until his buddies are close by, <laughs> even better. Wait, is he talking about the same ghost folks that, that we dealt with? Or is he talking about the whole other breed? Of course you do. Let's hear him. <laughs> oh, come on. You enjoy talking. You haven't had anyone to talk to for so long. Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long. And they don't stay alive long. <laughs> If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over. And they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. Sure, <laughs> first they figure they can get out, escape. Then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. <laughs> They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Although, it's odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. <laughs> Dead. Either got killed by one of the villa's attractions, locals, or the beautiful weather. <laughs> can tell you right now, they didn't stick close to each other, and when they did, they let down their guard at the wrong moment. Some left signposts to others trying to help them out. Just led to them getting killed by someone a little <laughs> more greedy than they were. Well, considering my <laughs> life's on the line too, yeah, a few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. <laughs> Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or <laughs> attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you. It's over. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. <laughs> uh, what about the cloud? Oh, yeah. The cloud showed up after the bomb, I think. I got used to it in small doses. Now it covers the city. Over the years, it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Hmm. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though. So sometimes I can use the cloud for cover. If I get desperate. So the casino is the source of the cloud. It's your time. Yeah. What about... Uh, I mean, if this area wasn't uh, covered up somehow, like uh, being underground or maybe under a dome, then the cloud would be, uh, I 
I don't know, blowing away. Those little company stores. <laughs> Sinclair's toy boxes. Put in the casino chip, get a treat. <laughs> like you're some dog doing tricks. Take any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. A snack, a cola, something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times, there's codes for, uh, unconventional items. <laughs> for emergencies. If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, <laughs> condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common oh, yes. Even security and maintenance could get special supplies out of them. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. Around. <laughs> Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. I got all the basics covered as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. Yeah, well, machines like those weren't unusual before the bomb. <laughs> Maybe to you they're amazing. To me, they're grifters without the personality. <laughs> Sinclair made sure if you spent money here, it went one direction. <laughs> Although that's not how he described it. Called it self-sufficient. <laughs> like he was doing the residents a favor. Right. Of course okay. you do. Let's hear him. <laughs> Not one for fighting, if we can avoid it. Still wasn't bad at the pistol range. And over the years, I've learned how to handle a knife. Okay. And explosives a bit. A bit. Made a lot of mistakes along the way. Still have my fingers, though. So, he will get the 9mm gun, a knife, and some grenades. Residential area, clinic, police station. Should keep away from the police station, it's a ghost people hang out. Salida del Sol, Puesta del Sol are East Town, West Town. Sunrise and sunset. Ooh, yeah. Or so were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. Ghost people don't come into the villa much. West Town and East Town, though, they're thick with the cloud. And ghost people. Like hunting grounds. Of course <laughs> you do. Let's hear them. Lose the second stringer, <laughs> and I'll make the time. Okay, then. I believe it is time. Uh, do you start? That human wasn't wearing a collar. What human? Huh? If okay. it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Okay. We'll see. So I think at this time to, to hear out what whether Father Elijah has to say. And before I do, I take a little pause. So I think I should stay close to dog and listen to, I mean God, and listen to him talk for a while. He seems to have lots of comments. Anyway, a short pause and we shall resume this fine weather in a minute. See ya!